La ilaha illa hu. What does it mean? Some say it means la khaliqa illa Allah. Wala rabba illa Allah. Some say that la ilaha illa Allah means there is no creator but Allah and there is no Lord but Allah. Now, this as a fact is correct, but this is an incomplete meaning to la ilaha illa hu. You see, Quraysh, they knew that there was no creator but Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal, he said, قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَمَّنْ يَمْلِكُ السَّمَعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَمَنْ يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَمَنْ يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرِ Allah Azza wa Jal, he says in the Quran, say to Quraysh, who's the one who provides and sustains you? من السماء والأرض Sustenance and provision that comes from the heavens and the earth. Who feeds you all of this? أَمَّنْ يَمْلِكُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارِ And who is it that controls the ability to hear and the ability to see? وَمَنْ يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ And who brings the living out of the dead? And who brings the dead out of the living? And who arranges every matter? وَمَنْ يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرِ Quraysh would say, فَسَيَقُولُونَ اللَّهِ Allah does all this. They know this. Everyone knows this. Quraysh. People that worship idols know that Allah Azza is the creator and the one who maintains all affairs. Like, uh, even Iblis knows when he said, خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارِ You created me. He knows that Allah Azza is the creator. And the story between Abd al-Muttalib, who is the grandfather of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and died upon shirk. The story between him and Abraha. And eventually when they met and Abraha or Abd al-Muttalib wanted his camels that Abraha had taken from him, eventually after an argument, Abraha said to Abd al-Muttalib, Anna, I'm coming with an army and elephants to come destroy your house. And you're telling me you want camels that I stole from you? For he said, you have been, yani, uh, I, I, I see you as a humiliated person. For as a result, Abd al-Muttalib said to him, Anna, Rabbul Ibil. I am the master of the camels, they're mine. وَلِلْبَيْتِ رَبٌ يَحْمِيهِ and for the house of Allah, there is a Lord that will protect it and safeguard it. فَإِذَا هِيَا عَبْدُ الْمُطَّلِبِ knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there and he is the one who protects and he's the one who safeguards and feeds the people and provides for them and maintains every affair. They don't have an issue with accepting that Allah is the creator and the provider and the giver of life and the taker of life. The issue is to worship only one Lord and reject every other God. This is the problem. This is the problem. Even them accepting Allah to worship Him, that's not a problem. Quraysh don't have a problem worshipping Allah. They don't have a problem worshipping Allah. But they want to worship Him alongside their idols. If that's the deal, no problems. We'll worship your Lord. I mean, no problem at all. The problem is worshipping Allah alone. And then rejecting every other god and idol besides him. That is what they didn't do. And this is what they couldn't do. Now, this is the issue. For this is what Allah, la ilaha illa hu means. That la ma'buda haqqun illa Allah. There is no Lord worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar.